Hello and welcome to Morningstar's 10th Annual Awards for Excellence in Investing. I'm Emma Wall and joining me in London today is John Clockerty of Fidelity, picking up the award for Outstanding Rising Talent for Nitin Bajaj. John, unfortunately Nitin is unable to join us this evening, but congratulations to Fidelity on behalf of Nitin for winning Outstanding Rising Talent of the Year. Well, I'm delighted at the age of 50 to be collecting a Rising Talents Award. Uh, typical of Nitin, though, he's off researching companies around the world for his portfolio, so uh, he's very rarely in one place uh, very long and uh, works incredibly hard, so really well-deserved award and delighted to collect it for him. Uh, on behalf of Fidelity, perhaps you can tell from a top-down point of view, that is a company level, what identifies or makes Nitin stand out as a fund manager? Well, it's quite easy. If you've met Nitin, unbridled enthusiasm and passion for what he does. Um, I think passion is an overused word, but if you see Nitin, and many of you will have done, um, whether you meet him in the flesh or you see him on video, he's incredibly dedicated. Um, he really does travel a lot, and he gets to understanding companies to a level of uh, fanaticism, is what I'd say. He bears, literally, literally doesn't look at the index, picks his stocks and builds the portfolio. So, you know, we leave him alone to do what he does. There isn't a house top-down style in what Nitin does. Um, Nitin runs his own fund and uh, he's done a brilliant job. I wouldn't ask you to speak on his behalf, but I know you are familiar with his funds and their portfolios. Where in particular is he excited about at the moment across that broad Asia remit? I think with Nitin, he's excited about everywhere. It's just the range that changes. Um, I think the, the, uh, his investment remit is Asian small cap. Uh, so India and other emerging markets within Asia are where he finds the stocks. But it, he, he tends to fall in love with stocks, not countries. So Nitin will go wherever he thinks the, the industry is changing, wherever there's a dynamic that's moving very fast, and he can exploit that through picking the winners through those sectors. Um, so he, he really is one of the managers that has the least constraint in terms of country, and he picks companies he falls in love with and uh, builds a portfolio. And, uh, you know, it's uh, genuinely my single biggest holding in my own portfolio, so I'm delighted to collect the award for him. John, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Cheers. And picking up the award for outstanding talent is Man GLG's Stephen Hart. Stephen, congratulations on winning Outstanding Fund Manager of the Year here at the Morningstar Awards. The judges praised your stock picking ability. So I'd like to ask for you, what constitutes a good company, a good stock? Well, we've been doing the same thing. I've been doing Japan for 33 and a third years, a third of a century. And for the last 30 years, I've been doing basically the same thing over and over again, which is to buy stocks that everybody hates, uh, that have underperformed a lot and are really cheap, um, and build the holding until we're reaching the level of discomfort and just keep holding them until they go up and it sort of works so I just keep doing it and it's uh, the same thing I'm playing the same shot every time and at the moment looking now where do those good companies fall what is looking undervalued for you now oh the market is split in two there are stocks that have won and stocks that have lost big time uh, and only probably the late 90s have we got a similar situation to the one we have now um, and there are some really incredibly cheap pockets of value in the Japanese market. Uh, the financials, uh, the steel companies, the glass companies, um, and uh, the utilities as well. So, I mean, it's a very small restricted area, but the, the value is just standing out like a, like a beacon. Stephen, thank you very much. Well, thank you. And the third and final award for Outstanding Investment House goes to Troy Asset Management. This is Emma Wall for Morningstar. Thank you for watching.